what's up YouTube? Welcome to another exciting tutorial in Adobe After Effects. This time I'm going to show you how to make a building explosion or make anything sort of like shatter or explode. I made the Statue of Liberty explode, but it's uh, taking a little long to render, so I can just like show you. It, it looks like this. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to make this effect. The explosion was taken from action no um detonationfilms.com so I'm not going to show you how to make that you can just download it from the website well anyway let's begin first you're going to take your picture and put it into the new composition button well okay so I used the stat I just found a picture of the statue of liberty and so yeah let's begin first we are going to um, duplicate this layer and name the bottom one base and the base layer is going to be the layer that like won't explode like it could be probably like the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty and the top layer we're gonna name shatter and this is the layer that will explode. So this layer is going to be the Statue of Liberty. So first we're going to just um, take the base layer and create a mask around the um, pedestal. And okay, so I want around this area to stay solid. So I'm going to sort of like make something that looks a little like this you can, it's kind of hard like it's sort of like a giant crack and now we can just finish the mask and bring it down oh we could turn off the shatter layer so now we can see it looks like this um we're going to keep it right there even though you can see there's like blackness around it. We're gonna keep it like that. So now we're gonna turn back on the shatter layer and lower the opacity to about like 50. So you can see um, the base layer and now we can create a mask around the base layer. So this is gonna be the layer that explodes. I'm going to cut this out right now so um, I'll get back with you. Okay, so I'm almost done with the mask. Now I've gotten into the area when you can see the small like crack on the base layer. So we're just basically going to, um, I don't know how to explain this, but oops, we're going to just um, sort of like outline the crack and now we can bring the opacity back up to 100. And you can see there might be a small line in between the two layers, so we could just move the masks down. Okay, there. Now, I'm just gonna take a hand tool and move it. Okay. So now we're pretty much done with the basic stuff and now we just need to add the background. So I I downloaded this um sky background off the internet. I'm just going to go to composition composition settings and let's just lower the height and the width. just so that these are like um just so that the building or statue of liberty will be the right size so i'm going to lower it some more okay so i'm going to click on the shadow layer and hold shift and then click on the base layer so now both of them are selected and just i'm going to move it down here and then I can scale down the sky. Be 
can also add in um, an animation to this guy. Just click on this guy, go to the beginning of the timeline, hit P, add a keyframe, go to the end, and then just move it over a little bit to the left or the right. So the sky is moving as if the earth is rotating. So we're pretty much going to just add the explosion now. Click on the shatter layer, go over to the effects and presets, and type in shatter. And only one of them should come up. And drag that onto the shatter layer. You can see it'll look a little something like this. And if you go up here to view wireframe and forces, change it to view rendered. Okay, so it's already creating an explosion, but we've got a few problems because first of all, the explosion is like starting right at the beginning of the timeline and we might want it to start like two or three seconds into the timeline. So we also might not like the shape because it looks fake. So to change the shape, we could go over to shape, bring that down and then change it from bricks to glass and it'll look like this and um, oh to uh, finish um, to make I mean not to finish to make more glad um, to make more we can go over to we can bring down shape and then raise the repetitions and it'll shrink the size and make more of them and now if we want to make the uh, explosion occur like two seconds into it we're going to go over um, bring down force one. Oh wait first of all oh I forgot you might also see this problem after the explosion there might be some leftovers left over leftovers left over so we're going to take the radius and just bring it up but we're going to go to the beginning of the timeline bring the radius down to zero add a keyframe and then go like two second if you want the explosion to start at two seconds then go over to two second mark um, hit you add a keyframe and then like maybe go a little bit later in the timeline and then bring the radius up okay so there so now we've created the basic explosion effect uh, please comment rate all that stuff I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can subscribe and if you have any questions that about something that I haven't said in this tutorial then leave a comment and I'll try to answer it. So goodbye and I'll see you next time.